Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking about Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 22. One episode left. That That's it. Next week is going to be the season finale, and then that is going to be all she wrote for a little while. But this episode, let me tell you, was van freaking tastic. So... We have before Shibuya Stream. That's that's where we're starting off here, and we're just seeing the wreckage of everything. Uh, we see Panda, uh, you know, meet up with him, guy's name that I always keep forgetting, um, as well. And they're looking around as well. Uh, then we go to the what I would call the most disturbing. That, that I think that's probably the best way to say it. Um, so, so we have, uh, her, her in bed here. Yeah. Um, and, um, who is she in, in bed with? Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is her brother. That is her underaged brother. So not only is it incest. No, no, no. It's not just incest. It is also pedophilia. It's, it, 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 it is not, there, there, maybe there's a third thing, so there's a trifecta, but, uh, good God, this, this is just, ew, 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 yeah, but this is so inappropriate, yeah, yeah, it's inappropriate, so, um, you, you, oh my God, names, candy kid even right now. But um, she's basically telling everybody, sell all your stock in Tokyo. Uh, because apparently she has interest in money. She has a lot of interest in money. Of course she does. That's, that's her character. Um, and she is telling someone, sell all your Japanese stocks and real estate in Tokyo. Because everything's going to tank and it's going to negatively affect a lot of stuff. So um, then <laughs> we move on to Chozo here. Um, trying to figure out who the heck Itadori actually is. Uh, and then we have Ghetto here as well. Uh, and he was like, he just called him Ghetto. He's the one that has Gojo. So he's running after him. Uh, he's explaining some of his curses uh, throughout the years as well. Um, attacking Itadori with his curse manipulation. He's running after him. Uh, and then Mahito tries to attack Ghetto. Um, but being that Mahito is so weak at this point in time he ends up getting absorbed. So he has this technique. We're going to skip past the intro here. That is, for whatever reason, like six minutes into the show. Um, he has a technique that is called Uzumaki, and that reminds me of Naruto, because Naruto Uzumaki. Um, and he is able to use it on grade one and higher cursed spirits in order to absorb them. So apparently, obviously, if it's an extremely powerful cursed spear, it's hard for him to absorb them. So he was just waiting until Itadori beat the crap out of Mahito to absorb him, because now Mahito is going to be more useful to him. Uh, his technique is going to be more useful to him. So Mahito most likely is technically dead, but not really, because he's living inside of Ghetto. We don't really know what happens when Ghetto actually dies, because Ghetto's body is currently being taken over, by that creepy brain thing, and um, we don't really know what happens when his body actually dissolves. Does all the curses die? I assume all the curses die with him. Um, something along those lines. But uh, ultra dense curse energy attack on your opponent. Um, he said he had, he had no interest in it, but it's you know he gets true value as he said is that the grade ones are higher, so he can he can weaponize it at this point. Uh, so here she comes, everybody. Uh, all the, all the ca past characters that we have seen in the school, like, training arc, um, names I am forgetting. So, blue-haired girl shows up, <laughs> um, sword breaks, uh, she starts releasing the technique, it is about to touch her and kill her, but, uh, luckily, uh, sword guy <laughs> comes out, yep, as I said, I don't know the names of any of these people, uh, comes out. And uh, saves the day. So we're, we're, we're good to go there. So Itadori's on the ground. They realize that he's the one that has Ghetto. And they are going to go after him. Uh, so Chozo actually figures out who he is. So Chozo is actually able 
to figure out who this guy is. Uh, that he he used his blood, a cursed spirit, and his mother to create the three womb paintings and his brother. Uh, and he calls him by his name here, uh, Nuritoshi Kamo. Uh, and apparently he is the biggest stain on the Kamo clan. Uh, he is also Noritoshi Kamo, but you know, he is not, he is also part of the Kamo clan, uh, a relative of him. And, uh, basically fake, he's fake ghetto. So basically this Kamo person figured out how to, how to transfer different bodies because he'd be over 150 years old. Most evil sorcerer in history, uh, with a ludicrous cruel stool. Um, he's like, that's just one of my many names. So, Kamo. We're just going to call him Kamo at this point. Uh, he says, get out of my way. You are my brother. Um, and that is why he had these visions of all of them together just hanging out. And the reason he had all of these visions is because he is connected to them by blood. So, when Itadori was about to die by his hand, he sensed his death before his own eyes. Because he said that they are blood relatives. So, we don't know the full story yet, but somehow this Kamo person also created Yuji, possibly Yuji's father, something along those lines. Uh, we do not fully know yet. No idea what the full story is, but uh, Yuji and, and uh, Chozo are related to each other. So there's there's a fun fact. And they are somehow both uh, the, the sons of fake ghetto here. Uh, apparently, so he starts attacking as well. Um, this person here, I don't know why, uh, he is on Ghetto's side at this point in time, because he seems to be, uh, a servant of Sukuna, so you would think he would just kind of follow Itadori around. I wasn't expecting him to show up, uh, and I'm not sure why he is currently protecting Ghetto, unless Sukuna specifically instructed him to do so. Uh, he's got some cool techniques. He's got this crazy ice freeze technique. Let's see if I can find it. Cool fight, by the way. You know, it's basically Chozo versus Ghetto. Uh, but Chozo is obviously weakened from his fight with Itadori. So that makes sense there as well. So everybody here realizes, oh, hey, this is a very good opportunity to all gang up on Ghetto at the same time, kill him. Uh, or in this Kamo, I should say, kill him and get it uh, Gojo back. So they all run after him as fast as they can. Um, Frost Calm is the, the technique here. And everybody is frozen all at once. Um, so Itadori thinks that uh, he, he uh, this person also has reverse curse technique and is able to heal uh, themselves very easily, which is probably why they are as old as Sukuna. Makes, makes sense, you know, the verse curse technique uh, has very high healing powers, so it makes sense that they are super young. The hair kind of reminds me of Shoto uh, from My Hero Academia. So, uh, we have Chozo here thawing himself out with his blood. Uh, Itadori shows up and is like, oh, I think this person's kind of related to Sakuna in some way, so maybe they can't hurt me. So, something along those lines, but... Uh, you know, both of them are, are be they were just fighting the crap out of each other. Itadori just fought Mahito, and now they're fighting Ghetto. So so they, they don't have a lot left in the tank at this point in time. It is it is it is slow moving. Um and he was like, Call me brother. Uh Panda thought it was, he was like he Panda's like, Do you release some sort of pheromone or something? <laughs> because Toto calls you that, and now Chozo does too. Um We then end with let's see here. We end, I am forgetting her name, uh, Yuki Tsukumo, which we saw earlier in the season um, with like the flashbacks where basically she is whoever's paying her the most money. Um, like the white-haired woman whose name I'm forgetting right now, I don't know why, but incest gross, ew, um, she shows up. Um, and then she's like, what's, who's your favorite kind of woman? And uh, next episode with the preview, we get is the conclusion so they call it uh let's see let's use warmer quilt tonight ew uh let's see what, what are we calling it I'll, I'll let it play out here for a second next episode shibuya, shibuya incident closed so yeah i mean that makes sense you know season finale as well 
Um, yeah, forgetting some of the characters' names. Uh, this episode wasn't as bad. If you look at some of the stills frames in the fight, we'll go back to still, some of the still frames in the fight here. Um, they weren't as terrible as it has been. So definitely a better episode. Maybe they're giving them a little bit more time to work on the episode. I highly doubt it. Mappa is miserable. Mappa's also just got a whole... I don't know if Mappa initially animated Chainsaw Man, but they got a hold of it for the movie, so that's going to be interesting, too, to see if they're uh, banging that out super fast. But rating-wise, th this one, I think, is probably going to get a solid 9 out of 10. Very, very excellent. Yeah, there was a couple of scenes that weren't the best animated. A um, lot of what I call forgettable characters, um, because you don't see these characters enough to actually remember their names. At least I don't. Um, I, you know, obviously I remember the main characters. A lot of the side characters' names I am forgetting. Uh, and or I will butcher, as everyone likes to, <laughs> to tell me that I am butchering names in the comments. And I'm gonna say, it's just all part of my charm. I'm just gonna continue to do it. I like watching the show. I like reviewing the show. I like making the videos. So uh, that is what it is. But uh, yeah, one episode left. So next Thursday will be the final review uh, of the season. Uh, Dr. Stone is over as of today, and I'm filming that also today, but that is going to be Friday's episode, so Friday will be the last time you see Dr. Stone for a little bit, no more Friday videos, uh, Spy Family is going to continue on, uh, Saturday, uh, Rick and Morty is over with, so no Rick and Morty video on Monday, uh, and then one more Jujutsu Kaisen episode next Thursday. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, share, comment down below what you want to see for future anime cartoon related content because I'm going to need some new shows to review. And as always, have a good one.